All right, Joe here with another BFBC Byte, and today we are monitor shopping and we're gonna have a look at what not to do with your website filters because this has really annoyed me and yeah, it very nearly put me off. So we're gonna show you what not to do with it. So yeah, like everybody else that's working from home in the world, I'm after a new monitor and 248 results, don't wanna do that. Filters are saving my life right now. Pick a resolution and then I wanna get down to a certain size as well. I'm not set on anything in particular. I'm thinking between 24 and 27 inches should be more than enough. So there's these three options here. Just when I go through, take them all one by one. Now annoyingly, I do get bounced straight out. I hate it when they do that, but still click back inside and actually no, nothing you can do about that. You're completely locked out of picking the other options because the filters don't really play nice with each other. That is infuriating to me. That makes me want to just go straight to another website. I want to look on PC World's website or something like that instead. I used to work at PC World, I avoided at all costs, but I'd still rather be there right now. And it did very nearly put me off of buying. The way you want to do it is the way Gymshark have done it. Of course Gymshark have done it the good way. If you go on Gymshark's website and you put bottoms, then the bottoms pop up. The menu stays as well, that's nice. If you want to add shorts in, there you go. You've got shorts and bottoms, you add tracksuits, on and on it goes, very, very easy. And then the menu goes away when you move your mouse. It's simple. Do it like that, more people will buy from your store because you won't make them angry so they go and buy from their old work, okay? Bosh.